everyone. I am here because I have three new bags to show you. They're new, they have just turned up and I would love to get your thoughts and opinions on them. And actually with all of them, they are, with the exception of one, which is questionable as to whether you'd class it as affordable or not, the other two are definitely affordable. And one in particular that I haven't opened, so the other two I've already opened, one in particular is from a brand that to me epitomizes, I hope when I see the product, epitomizes true quality, true luxury. And the price point of their bags, I actually wonder if they're gonna put the prices up because they've become so popular. This bag, I ordered it in September and it's only just turned up now. So, um, and that's because every single bag, every single wallet, everything is handmade, bespoke to you. You can pick the colors of everything. It's really, really in depth. And the, as I say, the prices are pretty good. Just before I get started, I wanted to say that I still have and it's about to run out. I've got one of those Farfetch coupon codes that expires early December and it gets you a discount on the majority of things on the website at this point. And it also works for men as well. So men and women, uh, design aware. It's a cyber weekend coupon code, which is why um, in this instance, it actually works on more than it would normally because it's like a seasonal thing. So I'll put details of that in here and in below. It's not commission paying. I don't profit from me using it at all but it is pretty good and yeah it runs out fairly soon the first is in this box this is from match and match and i really like match and match i've got a pair of their shoes which have got the crystal bow on the toe really like their stuff so i'm really cute they kill to walk in they're really painful but they look good and here is a bag that i saw that was in the a 40 percent off sale i will link to it below if it's still 40% off, because I noticed that the day I bought it was 40% off and the next day I went back and I looked at it in a different colour and the 40% off had, had, was not on it anymore. So maybe give it a try, go and have a look, but I can't promise anything. Comes in a lovely satin dust bag and it is this small evening bag. This is satin as well. And then it's got feathers around the top and then you know the bows off the shoes, it's got that there. And then on the other side there as well. This is the kind of width of it. The good thing is because of the height of this bag, I think if you've got a larger phone, you're gonna be safe, you're gonna be good. So I haven't taken the uh, tag off because I wanted to kind of watch it back in this video, see what I think. I do that a lot. Sometimes you watch things back in videos and they look terrible and you're like, oh no, I'm gonna send that back. And other times you think something's gonna look really bad, you watch it back and it looks really good, so you keep it. The handles on here, by the way, are leather. So you haven't got to worry about, um, like if, it, if they were fabric or satin, you, you'd, you'd have like hand oils and stuff like that on there, but that's leather, so you haven't got to worry about that. And then the next bag, before I move on to the grand finale, the, the one that I'm hoping is going to be it, that I've been looking forward to for months. I, I was mind blown by this. So I was on Instagram. As I am most of the time, I was on Instagram and I went to the shopping section and this bag came up and it caught my eye. And I went and looked and they are, all of these bags are handmade by this one lady and everything comes beautifully wrapped. So it came in, it's come in this pink box. And then if we open it, she's put all tissue paper on it. Like this. It comes in its own dust bag. And this dust bag is like a really thick canvas type material. It's not like, like flimsy or anything. So this is it. And it's, it's loud, okay, because of the way I spec'd it. But you don't have to spec it to look like this. Check out this bag. She made this. How do you make that? Like the quality is so good. And if you're looking at it thinking, I love that style, but I don't like the colorway. She does these in like, you can get more muted colors, okay? And, and this particular bag comes in three different sizes, small, medium, large. This is the medium size. I also like that it's got this um, chunky tassel on the side and this is removable. So it's got a clip on it so you can remove that if you want to. Color wise, so I went with um, gold off for the flap, and then the actual body of the bag, this is an off white, it's called ivory. It's not, so if you're looking at it thinking you quite like this um, design, uh, then 
choose ivory and it's this particular color but you can spec things from not only the size of the bag but you can even ask and request different clasps that go on the front of the bag as well and you can also um, spec the interior pocket color so she's got some really nice uh, fabrics I just wanted to go with something plain in fact in the end I said to her look you go and pick whichever color you think is going to work best with it and she's picked this really nice off-white uh, inner lining and it comes with a crossbody strap that again matches the body color of the bag so this has got the ivory color thread running through it and it's very Chanel style that chain the way it's got the chain with the fabric running through it and I it, this bag was like 120 pounds or something something like that I can't remember exactly it was like a hundred and something pounds and it didn't take forever to arrive either like when I ordered it because it's so in depth and because everyone she hand like she hand makes to order thought it was going to take ages but it actually turned up pretty quickly I think within like a week or something so that's that and um she also does other styles of bags that i've shown you in this like she does a bottega style you know the cassette bag by bottega she does one of those just one of the ones that's like got the like the dumpling style bottega bag she does one that looks like that so she does lots of different styles in loads of different colors okay so i thought i would come and show you what fits in this as well while i'm here this is our bag and it's pretty good width as well there but because it is crocheted and it's quite a thick material, um, the inside is surprisingly spacious. So if I fit my phone in there again, can you see if you've got like a pro size phone? No problem. You've still got like a good inch to inch and a half, two inches there to spare. So if you do have like a huge phone, no problem, that's gonna fit. So there's, there's that phone, then gonna put in my other phone. I would normally carry a card holder, but I can't find it at the moment. So I'm just gonna put in here for all intents and purposes, like a full size wallet. And I could get my keys in there as well. I mean, for me, I wouldn't carry that around. And in fact, I wouldn't even carry this because this is my work phone. Uh, uh, this is my personal phone, which I would carry in the day, but it's all in there. I just think that there, that is, talent now the final and it's come wrapped like this and you might think that's not very luxurious but i tell you something all of these bags are handmade in the uk and when it turned up like this it it like and somebody's handwritten the label on the front of it it's not kind of like mass produced stuff when i saw it i just felt like this feels really custom really bespoke really personal from the company as opposed to them just having loads of stock and it and it being posted out like in bulk let me open this here it is here is the box that it comes in really lovely robust quality box and i'm excited to see how this bag looks because i ordered it and then because it took them so long to make it I kept changing my mind on the spec. I was like, oh, did I pick the right colors and should I try and change it? And in the end I was like, no, leave it alone because you'll end up wanting to change it back again. The leather smells amazing the moment I've taken that lid off. Oh my God, the size of it's perfect. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. This smells so good. The I can't believe the quality of this. This is from Lorna. You can get this in different sizes. I, let me take away this piece of paper because it's kind of like distorting the look of the bag on the front. This is it. You can get it in different sizes. It's got a pocket on the rear of it and you can spec pretty much everything, okay? So you can choose the sides, the side color the flap color, the handle color, the color of the actual body itself. And you can even um, choose the inner lining color. And I chose pink. And let's have a look at the inside because I seem to remember these come with a matching mirror. I cannot see a mirror. No, hang on, what's this? Yay! Here is the matching mirror. Packaged up here. For a minute, I thought I didn't get one. I was like, oh. And this also has got the crest on the back of it and it slots oh it's so it's got leather on it it's leather and it slots really nicely to the in inner pocket 
You also have got here this dust bag which contains the shoulder strap of the bag and if you customize the handle to be a different color the strap always matches the handle okay as you can see size wise this is pretty it's a really decent size bag i've got the mini 13 mini by the way i like small phones if i can get a small phone i'm happy with that then i've got a wallet there like a um, zippy holder thing full size card holder so as you can see there's um both phones there and then there's that card holder. And then I would normally use something like this to hold makeup. So I've got blotting sheets. I've got a powder compact there. Um, makeup brush. And I keep them in this so that in case any of the powder, um, if the compact opens, I don't want powder all over the inside of the bag. So that is kind of a catch-all for me of everything. And there's everything in there. And there's still room at the top so I can get my keys in there. I actually didn't put that in there in the end. Um, but that's that's everything I kind of need. For any of you who are looking at this and you're thinking, yeah, I quite like that bag actually, here are a few things about it. First of all, it's not very well known. And it, in a way, I actually think that's a good thing because I think that it creates like a, um, an exclusivity around this bag that also is kind of um, further backed up by that royal connection. Uh, Lorna bags from memory have been going since like the 40s or the 50s, maybe even the 60s. And I think the 1960s are the, the era when the Queen started using them pretty much exclusively. And even if you watch things like The Crown uh, on Netflix, you will see Lorna bags from time to time featured in, in that series. And so to have something that's got that, um, that heritage to it is quite nice. I know that with this brand that when the Queen's Jubilee happened in June, they had a big peak in sales. Then when the Queen passed away in September, they had another peak in sales and that has slowed the process down. But again, it's not a bad thing to know that you can customize your bag and it doesn't cost you extra. These bags, each bag has a price and you can customize to your heart's content and it doesn't cost you any extra to do that. Every bag is bespoke made to you based on your personal preference. And I think just looking at this first impressions, the quality of the stitching is just perfect. I love the hardware. I like that that logo, if you know it, you know it, but it's not sort of screaming in your face. But what I really like is that this bag looks luxury quality. You know, I know a lot of you, uh, you watch the videos, but you're not really into like big logos as such, but you want to carry something a bag that looks quality and I think that this is one of those bags that look um, that looks good the lighting by the way is making this bag look like it's really shiny and in real life it's not it's because I've got four ring lights going right now which are making this look really shiny but in real life it's more of a more of a matte so don't don't worry too much I'm gonna try and film this um, without like in natural daylight so you can actually see the true color of this bag and how it looks but yeah there it looks really glossy it's not at all and if i just compare both bags here for size this is the traviata which is the medium size bag i have got loads of small bags and i thought on this occasion i actually do want something that's a bit bigger i would say the quality of this is very much on par to bulgari bags i have got the serpenti bag and that the quality on their bags is exceptional every detail has been thought about the interior lining the fact that those bags also come with a mirror that matches the bag I feel as though the quality is on par, but this is also a really cute, really fun bag. This actually, uh, this will be perfect to go on holiday with, you know, this colorway, but also the material is made from like a sweater type material. And she's told me that this is washable, not the whole bag. I think if you get the bag non-metallic, it's, it's possibly mos washable. Go and ask her about that. But I know that she said you can spot clean this if you get any um, marks on it or anything like that and of course if you like the style you can go for a dark color and then it's not going to show up any problems is it I just saw it in this color and I fell in love with it so they are the three bags I don't know where the other one's gone to now but they are the three bags and the one that I think is is really high quality 
I really hope that you've enjoyed this and just enjoyed watching and hanging out. Thank you for watching. I will link to everything below, including the bag that I personally have. Um, so uh, yeah, go and check that out if you're interested in anything. And I will see you in the next video.